I went to college for art. I graduated with a bachelor's in studio art with an emphasis in three-dimensional design. And we did a lot of wood shop in college. I taught for eight years at high school, middle school art teacher. And then I started my own art business as a mural artist out here by the coast. I saw um, where they had a lot of tiki carvings and pelicans and things like that. So I wanted to use some of my woodworking experience and try it. I just, I knew I could do it but I was just really just trying to use uh, chisels and stuff. It wasn't really going fast enough like I had anticipated. So I went and I bought a chainsaw, uh, just an electric one that you plug in. It just evolved into what I'm doing now. My name is Della Meredith. I'm a professional wood carver, artist, and a chainsaw artist. I've been carving for seven years now. It's just very like addictive and you just can't put it down. Uh, just woodworking in general, so kind of like my little calling, I guess. This is a little chainsaw blade armband. Today I have a small piece of cedar that I'm gonna start cutting on to make a small pelican out of. When I'm carving, I'm using like the 3D model that's in my mind and I'm trying to translate that onto the object that I'm carving. It's almost like it's an automatic thing and I don't have to really think about it, but I am very focused and, and concentrating and engaged in that. I've always been an artist. I've always, you know, if you talk to people that I know from when I was a kid, they're like, you used to draw me horses all the time. I still have a horse that you drew me. All through high school, I was like president of the art club. My mother's an artist. My grandmother was an artist. All my kids are good at art. So it does have some kind of a genetic thing going on. I do love chainsaws. You get like such a fast result from them compared to like using like a traditional method of like chiseling with a, a hammer. I live out by the coast, so most requested items are pelicans and tiki's and fish. My clientele is mostly a fishing community out here, but I do, I get a really wide variety of requests uh, for custom work. And people do ask for bears a lot too. I think that's just a, a traditional thing that they expect from carvers. I also really enjoy carving abstract sculptures. So I get to do those sometimes and there's a lot more of an easy flow to the work. I've carved everything from deer, logos, birds, dragons, vehicles, even people. Some of the more unique requests might be for someone to get a replica of their pet that passed away. I do carve a lot of those. I carved J.J. Watt back in 2016. Someone had asked me to carve a Texan themed tiki, I guess, and then I was like, well, what if we did this? And then I just got inspired to do it. It was a fun project and I'm excited with how it turned out. Recently, I've been doing a lot of stump carving. I've been out to Louisiana a lot. There's a lot of storm damage from the recent hurricane. So I've had people call me and ask me to come out and I've carved a few trees over there. It's a way to give a new life to something that otherwise they would have to like take down and, and do a stump grinding. In Texas, there was a big freeze palm trees and things that we have out here, they've never been exposed to that type of freeze. There's so many dead trees right now, instead of people just taking them down. I've been getting like a lot of calls trying to turn them into art projects. It is hard, definitely. You have to learn how to mix your gas and change the blade and, you know, do all like the maintenance on it. And so you have to, you know, like be a little bit mechanically inclined, I think. As far as injuries, I have had some, I guess, some close calls, but I'm really careful. It can be dangerous for sure. So you have to wear an eye protection, ear protection. And then I'm wearing chaps that have like metal mesh inside of them. So like if your saw hit it, it would like tangle up and it wouldn't hit your skin. The wood definitely matters when you're carving. You know, a softer wood is gonna be a lot easier to carve, whereas a harder wood is gonna take longer. It's gonna wear out your blades, so it's just gonna slow you down. I prefer like cypress, pine, cedar. They're all about the same level of softness. I wouldn't say like overall there's a lot of female carvers, but there are a few that I've met and it is more of a traditional male thing to do, but you know, the girls are doing just as well, I think. Being able to do something that I love and enjoy is a dream come true for me. And I, you know, every day I thank God that I get to do something so awesome. I love it.